The majority of the show's mysteries were answered last season, but there's a lot of world building and lore the show is going to handle in season 7, and I'm sure a lot of it will come from Sam's interactions with maesters and archmaesters of the Citadel. The maesters are scholars who learn and train in a variety of fields and eventually become the healers and advisors for a keeper castle. John sends Sam to the Citadel to replace Maester Raymond, but also to learn as much as he can about the White Walkers and to protect him, Gilly, and her son. The only problem is the Maesters are extremely against sorcery. They've always believed the world is safer without the use of magic and would prefer it erased from history itself. If you're wondering where I got all this from, this information comes from a very interesting character in the books who might make an appearance this season. Marwan the Mage is the Archmaester of Magic and because of this, the other maesters look down upon him. Very few maesters even bother studying magic. Like in the show, Sam in the books has only just entered the citadel. With the use of a magic tool called the glass candle, Marwin sees Sam coming and gets him to tell him everything he knows about White Walkers and Daenerys. He then tells him, The world the citadel is building has no place in it for sorcery or prophecy or glass candles, much less for dragons. If Marwyn is to be trusted, this changes a lot of what we know in the story. He hints that Maesters poisoned the last of Targaryen's dragons to help create their ideal, magic-free world. It's hard to blame them, knowing how many people were easily killed by fully grown dragons. Because of the Maesters and their control over information and their strong connections with people in power, they've kind of succeeded. In Westeros, most people frown upon magic or don't even believe in it. They think things like White Walkers and Necromancy are myths. After a very brief conversation with Sam, Marwyn leaves to be an advisor for Daenerys, who is still in Marine at this point, and that's the last we see of him. If Marwyn is going to be in Season 7, I think his character needs to be very different. Sam is probably going to explain the North's situation and no one will believe him, until an old guy who's read some of these taboo books will join his cause. There isn't much Sam and Marwyn can accomplish since the show is almost over, but I do think they'll figure out how to make more Valyrian steel swords since magic is used to forge them. Sam took his father's sword for a reason. Daenerys' dragons would probably be able to handle the entire White Walker army on their own, but not before a lot of people would be killed and revived to join the White Walkers. Supplying with either Valyrian steel or dragonglass will help cut losses and I think this would be a nice end for Sam's story. He'll be able to save a lot of people and gain their respect without being the fearless warrior his father always wanted him to be. This theory that he'll use his sword to figure out how to make more would answer the question of won't Sam's father Randall Tarly hunt his son down to get his priceless sword back. Sam will never convince him he is more worthy of owning it, but an Archmaester like Marwyn can convince him that it's for the sake of the realm or it's possible he'll be too busy fighting off the Ironborn of Cersei since the Tarleys are in the Reach and Elena Tyrell is in charge. It's too bad there's still another 6 or 7 months until the start of the new season, but if you enjoy the Season 7 discussions, you can subscribe because I'll definitely be making some more. You can also like this video so I don't hate myself and can sleep better at night. See y'all next time.